Warning, this show contains adult language, so viewer and listener discretion is advised. Welcome to another edition of Up and In It. I'm your host, Adrian Babshoff, and if you're new here, welcome as well. And if you're wondering what the show's about, it's entirely dedicated to improving quality of life of people and planet through liberation and independence, moving you from surviving to thriving and living life on your own terms. Uh, background noise is my F-350 pickup truck, my mobile studio. It will plane out a little bit here, but that's the background noise until we get this show actually started and get into a real studio. But today's episode 127, this is complete. I kind of don't know how to phrase this one, but for now it's called Complete Lifestyle uh, Redesign Part 1. And I am super excited this morning. I was super excited yesterday. And what I looked at in my life was like just really drinking it in. Uh, I've defied things that uh, that are supposedly the that are. This is the way it is. There's no changing it. I've completely done things completely backwards and had success. And I think that's the whole thing that lit the fire under my ass to do like this show. And this entire show is starting to come down to an apex to a point where I'm looking going, yes, this is, uh, I guess it's nothing new. I'm just supercharged that. We all could be doing something different. I think a lot of people are going to need to do a, a lifestyle redo. Uh, if shit hits the fan like I think it is, and like a lot of people are saying, uh, our systems have completely failed us. We need to replace them with something. Well, with what? And what has happened? How is it that I don't own land, but I'm able to grow my own food? You know? How is it that I'm able to run business solo? Uh, things in business I was told you can't do. Things with money I'm told you can't do. So many things that I was told you cannot do or just, they look that, that's just stupid. Well, argue with the results now. We're making good money. We're, no matter what the, the life throws at us, there's always problems. Everybody's got problems. But amazing how when we get the mindset down and we continually keep looking for the loopholes, what is possible? So... I look at this as like a manual. I think I should maybe write a book like to help people. I want to skim today over everything that I'm thinking of doing this hardcore series on. And I think it's like I said, it's very well needed. There's a lot of people that are, are going to need help out there. They're going to need to figure out what the hell to do with, the, with themselves. So let's jump in. Let's simplify it, skim it off the top. I think the very, very first one, and I'm just going to kind of run through these things and just kind of speak a little bit about them because I want to spark interest. You guys... Let me know what situation you're in or what you want to hear about, uh, things that you're scared about or, or, or interested in, and, and I'll incorporate them into these series of, for now, completely complete lifestyle redesign. So money is like, to me, is the biggest one. If you do not realize, we've talked about this on the show, that it makes the, your world go round, uh, you got another thing coming. Uh, so we need, to, we need to get down into the basics of this, and uh, that's what I look at is making more money a lot of us are going to need to do. We need to know how to manage that money. We need to know how to budget. There's so many, just money alone. And I think that's one of the, the most important places to start with all this stuff. And so I want to talk a lot about uh, money in these, these segments. And the, the, the biggest one is changing your mindset, I'd have to say. is probably, here's the thing with the mindset. Uh, I, you know, we get a lot of people who go to like a Tony Robbins event or something. They get inspired. And guess what happens with like 99% of those people? They get inspired and then it flutters out. Uh, what I'm offering, what I'm looking at, is there a way that you can inspire yourself? Uh, I think, yeah, because that's what I do to myself. Uh, I don't, I love, don't get me wrong, I don't, I don't uh, uh, mind looking to other people. When I come up with an idea, I'll look it up on Google or YouTube or anywhere that I can to, to figure out, well, what's similar? What have people done? And what can I take from what they've done? Uh, maybe this is something that uh, is flawed and I won't be able to do. I can learn so much. But as I told you, a lot of stuff in my life has been done completely opposite of what the, the norm is. And some people have looked and frowned and just went, well, that's really, let's just see how well that works out. You know, and it did. So I had the power of belief in myself. But I think the biggest one is the mindset. Because we can give everybody. I think that's the biggest problem I'm seeing is you go to a workshop or you go to a speaking engagement or something and or you listen to a podcast and you get all excited and then it just slowly starts puffering out and then you go right back to normal. And I think I can equate this to like the mindset of how some people are saying, why don't you keep cash inside of an envelope if you don't know how to budget? When that cash is out, just like a kid, you're like, okay, well, I, uh, I'm done. It's the complete opposite of what we should be doing. You need to understand that you need to grow up and act like an adult, human up to yourself and uh, get something like Microsoft Excel or get some sort of system, a, a card 
where you can read everything that you're doing, all your expenses, and just and do that. Because if you keep doing the cash thing, sooner or later when you go back, you get too comfortable, and you go back to a card, then you just start spending and you forget to check stuff out. We're exercising the wrong muscles. And I think what a lot of other people are selling is snake oil. Uh, I'm not selling the snake oil. I live it. I'm doing it. That's the thing that excites me the most about all this is that I have proof of concept. I'm I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> no, I, I live extremely below my, my wages and my means. And that's how I'm able to do my things. I've simplified life really, really for most things, really, really uh, down to the wire. And it's working. And the thing that excites me is that most people can do this too. They just got to get that mindset. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this list without blabbering my fucking mouth off every five minutes. Referee. All right, what do we get? Changing your mindset. <clears throat> Uh, getting out of debt, uh, I think this one, and staying out of debt, I didn't put that in there. We need to talk about debt, how to get out of it. And I want to go step by step, and that's why I think this could be a good book because there could be so many different chapters. All of these things I'm talking about could all be a chapter in and of themselves. And the hardest thing for me is to figure out which step is the most important, like where do we start? So I'd love to hear from you guys what you guys think because I'm designing this for you, really. Uh, Getting out of debt, staying out of debt. Strategic living placement. Uh, this one's interesting. Uh, I live amongst the wealthy. Uh, a lot of people say, that's just crazy where you live, man. That's expensive. And like, yeah, uh, not really. Uh, I live in an RV park. Uh, a lot of you guys who follow me know this. My rent is $850 a month. You want to know what the average going rate here is? It's $2,500 a month, $3,000 a month. I am mingling with people who own big houses, big mansions, they got big money, uh, Sunnyside, California, San Diego, by the way, North County. And I've surrounded myself with these people. I live what would, you would seem as poor as, a, as like the smallest little peasant, but I'm able to charge really, 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 really good money to fix things that other people are so called educated that they don't know how to do. They got to hire somebody else. Or maybe they're so smart to use their brains, not their bronze. They're like, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to hire somebody else to do this shit for me. You know, meanwhile, we come in very professionally and charge a couple thousand dollars to fix things. And we've got the licenses, the insurances and everything else. And we're actually make doing really, really good. This is an opportunity. So uh, strategic placement in your life, it has to do with weather. But you want to grow your own food, uh, you know, hot and cold. What type of place do you have the time to grow your own food? Strategically place yourself. Weather has a lot to do with everything. Uh, you know, back east. Or up north, you go, when it starts getting, everything turns to ice. There's not much uh, exterior stuff going to happen when everything's iced over, right? Uh, what kind of business are you running? There's all of these things. Take your strategic planning of where you place yourself. Uh, next on the list here, how, how and why you need time. And this is where I look at, this is a big key as well. These are all such huge keys. The thing that I got to be able to do was mind experiments, thought experiments. And uh, I've done this before. Uh, I learned that uh, this is what uh, uh, Albert Einstein said was one of his most uh, uh, powerful experiments, was just having thoughts. Having mind experiments and running things in your mind and creating them, getting them on paper or on a whiteboard or chalkboard or stuff, and just having that time to finish a thought. I've, I've never heard anybody say this, but that's the thing is it feels like it's a trail. Right? You're on this trail and you're trying to figure out, okay, so I want to get this new business. I need to place myself here. This is what I want. What are all the stuff that needs to happen? What's the sequence of events that needs to happen to get me there? How could this whole thing cave in? And it's this whole like strand of Christmas lights, right? And uh, there's all these different spurs coming off of thoughts that you're, that, that you're improvising and developing. So you kind of know where you want to go. And then time gets interrupted where you just started down that path and it's like, oh shit, I got to go take care of that. That's right. We need to stop thinking about this now. But you're like on the trail and every time you get on that trail, you start finding new shit. You start developing new things and it sucks to have to stop and be interrupted. And those, that's one of the most powerful things that I can see besides your perspective, your macro, to be able to sit back in your life, uh, grab a beer, go sit in a rocking chair and just look at your life. If, you're, if you've got lots of uh, problems and shit going on and go, how did I get here and observe the situation, have the time to observe. So time, very, very powerful, I think. Um, get out of, and away from all and any bad relationships. This is a, this is a bad one. I think well, it's a good one. It's a positive. Uh, this could be your family members. This could be your significant other. 
Uh, you know, if you're gonna, if you want to get ahead in life, I think one of the biggest things that can slow you down is your significant other. If they're not willing to go that route, or they're just unhappy with the way you're living, the things you're doing, the, the work you know, that you're putting in, you know, some people just want to party, and that's cool. You know, uh, I don't like to get too personal, but I think mine, it was the best thing that ever happened in my life. Hands down, one of the best things, liberating things, and I think for the, for the both of us. The other person as well does not have to be working like I do and into all these things and always innovating. They get to just party, have a good time, and live for today. And that's awesome. It just doesn't fit me. So you got to figure out this is the rest of your life. This is the life of your children. I mean, we need to speak about uh, education and things like that and, and this whole mindset. Where does all this come from that we're stuck in all this bullshit? And that our children are learning these things. We need to invite in our children that you are free. You can do anything that you want. You just got to change your mindset and learn that you are a powerful human being. And there's... There's everything out there. Don't get too excited. <laughs> Hold it in. Um, how, how to plan for the future and why. Things that you do today set forth things that will come tomorrow. There's Right now, looking at this recession that I think we're in, uh, the slow times and all that, uh, and I've, for some reason or another, I've hustled my ass and I'm actually doing, brought myself right back to normal. Uh, we're doing fantastic. Money's coming in. Everything's going great. Uh, but just to know when that scare happens, my future self for working so hard, <clears throat> it feels so good to have that backup money and these plans and this plenty of healthy food and I've got my health and all of these things is like, yes, giving to your future self, very important, very difficult because you can't see the uh, fruits. You don't get to get anything now, but your future self does. Uh, investing. I think is a big one. We want to, we're going to need to talk about investing money, uh, which I'm not too, too heavy on as far as real estate and all. I'm not a real estate investor. I'm not, I don't really invest anything other than more of knowledge, education in myself, my health, my time, my spirituality. And I have to say I invest in my money in a lot different ways, I think, than most people. I like investing more into my business and things like that, but we're going to get into a lot more of investment. It's not just physical goods. Uh, dealing with children in extreme minimal living conditions and I got to say guys your kids just want to be with you uh, Beautiful times. It was raining. We're under a big old canopy that I built for our, our living situation And my daughter's sticking her tongue out in the raindrops We're both sitting there at the gate giggling and just something so simple and we're cuddling with a hot cup of, of tea grown from the herbs from my aquaponic system Kids just want to be with you. They don't need all this fucking toys and bullshit uh, all these things that we keep like distractions like here's a distraction go get the go get the stick Fido no they love you and they want to be with you they want to snuggle and feel your body on their body and and have you scratch their hair and snuggle you know <laughs> uh, balancing work and play and time off is uh, is more profitable than you would even think about uh, I talked about this on the show when I'm able to take off a month two months three months that time when I come back I'm like ten times uh, the person I, I am, the, the mental capacity, everything. I'm fully charged, way more than charged. And I've got tons of ideas because I was able to step away from the situation. But my body is truly relaxed. My nerves are relaxed. My neurological connections, what's left of them, are uh, reconnecting, rekindling. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to talk about that. I think because when, when you do do a minimalistic uh, living situation, uh, sometimes there's some stress that happens. I think there's more stress when you're not. When you're trying to keep up with the Joneses, paying off the you know the car, the house, and all that kind of stuff. But, anyways, moving forward with stacking the functions, very very important. We need to do things. We need to put stuff in place that does multiple things, uh, right? Stacking functions, meaning, my, I talked about it before. My aquaponic system. It's not just an aquaponic system. It's got sound. I put this this huge little uh, or this, this strong waterfall that drowns out the, the noise of my surroundings. Uh, it's, it's producing me food when I had, well, I have cats that come to my house now and they love the aquaponics water for some reason. They get up and they start drinking it. I could use it as emergency water if there was a shutoff, which we just had, again, another shutoff of water. Uh, it's, like I said, growing my own food. The fish get to eat the, the roots of the plants of like my, my uh, kale. I get to eat the top. It does so many things, and then it's just for pure delight. I get to watch the fish swim around in the bubbles. So things that stack functions in our lives, this is a philosophy that is, they're all powerful equally. Some of them, I think, more than others, but stacking functions is, this is something that's really going to help you guys out. 
Uh, the paper plate philosophy, I talked about that. I'm not proud of using paper bowls and paper plates, but you know what? We need to use the system, get off the system, and not get off the system for a day or two, get off the system for good. We're running out of time here. Why this is the best time to ever be alive, uh, there, and how much opportunity we have around us that people are just shitting away, farting in the wind, pissing it all away, not realizing, not looking around going, you know, we have major, major opportunities. It's just that we're, you're being told all the negative shit and you're being mind imprinted and you're having your mindset uh, program for you by all this negativity and social media and all this other shit. Well, all social media and all that stuff is not bad. There's actually really, really good stuff. You just need to reprogram your mind to start seeing those positives and seeing the opportunities that are around you because they're everywhere right now, people. Every fucking where. Hands fucking down and I'll fucking prove it. And this is the thing I look at. Some things are absolute. Some things are universal truths. And that's where I look at. Guy, uh, uh, debate me then. Let's see, uh, you know, well, I'm getting a little cocky here, aren't I? Getting all excited. I uh, didn't even clean the shit out of my eyes this morning. Uh, anyways, yeah, it's, 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 I call this the big nothing. The huge, giant nothing. All of this bullshit that we're being fucking sold right now. That's why I'm so excited to be here, is that we make our own sandwich, people. It doesn't have to be this way. What the, the things, most of the things that people are flipping out on are big nothing. It's a big scare. There's always a way. But are you willing to do the work? Are you willing to step down away from your ego and your pride and, and all this bullshit the, the way, and stop giving a fuck what people think about you? Know, stop listening to everything that people tell you. Start thinking for yourself and start looking at the beautiful things so you can see the light instead of all this dismal bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. The gloves are off. <laughs> Uh, you're not trapped, and this is all just an illusion I have, and I think I just pretty much disclosed that. Uh, I think the other thing is, is you're not late. You're not too late. If you're middle-aged or if you're, you're, really, you're an older person, look, there, I'm sure that no matter what you're doing in life, there are things that you've learned, shortcuts, and you've... I mean, for instance, with me, with like the painting and roofing industry, I could do it fucking blindfolded. I've been doing it for over 30 years. I've been getting myself into sales. I've been in sales. I've been in sales for a lot. Of, I learned to shut the fuck up, listen to more what the customer wants, and attend and design my way towards what they're saying instead of just unloading why I'm so great on the people. Like I've learned so many different things. I'm editing videos like these. Uh, I'm able to stack functions and maybe edit uh, videos for other people. There's so much opportunity that we get and things that you don't realize that you have become a master or are really, really good at. And that we so, let's think about all the shortcuts that we've, we've learned to make with saving money and how to apply money and energy and uh, you know when you're doing when you're stacking functions while you're you're just work, walking around the house watch someone young how they just zip how many unnecessary movements they make the older and older we get the better and better we get and I think that we can make way more money and a lot more faster or we can we can do so much more it doesn't have to be just about money but we've become acutely refined and I think that. We can excel with our minds and our, our, our experiences probably five times faster than someone in their 20s, you know? And I'm not digging, I'm not dogging on anybody in their 20s. They're, they're smart too, but they're still learning. There's a lot of, of, of time being here, of wisdom that a lot of us older people have learned. And it's, we're dying to share with people, but a lot of people just want to do stuff on their own. But the point being, you're not too young, you're not too old. I think that just the right type of things that I want to share that I, I guess basically I want to teach people to, to live an alternative lifestyle design like I have so that you can start your life and you can excel. Uh, so the last thing I want to say is what propelled me to do all this stuff is if you guys are just tuning in or haven't listened to all my podcasts, all my shows, I have a special needs daughter. I have to figure out something. I'm very limited in my time. Right now, I'm going to my job. I'm going to work. I only get six hours to fucking work, and I work my ass off, and then hightail it back to pick up my kids. I've got lots of hurdles, and I, the dream that I've had since I first started the very, very first episode of this show is if I'm able to do this with all the hurdles, imagine somebody doesn't have the hurdles that I have. You just take off like a fucking airplane, and that's what I want. I want people to be able to live their lives on their own fucking terms, do what they want, feel the freedom, that the contagious this of this freedom that I feel and this wonderment and, and excitement and once you get it there's no ever going back why would you that's the show guys if I brought you guys some fucking value fucking hell yeah uh, give me a thumbs up thumbs down middle finger I don't really give a fuck it's up and in a show at gmail.com let me know what you guys want to hear about up and in it up and in it.com is where you guys can find the website 
uh, up and edit on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and anywhere where let me do these uh, podcasts. I'm um, doing a lot of live streaming on, on Instagram, some extra footage for you guys, and put a couple little extra things on the Facebook. Uh, so like I always say, guys, go out there and have yourself a new life experience. Don't lose your muchness. Carry on the fire. Human up. Live it, love it, own it, and bone it, my friends.